a mentally unstable girl, a fearless friend, a mystery that is worth ten thousand dollars, and a little bit of romance, a little bit of mystery, but a great book, nothing less. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aram the Bookquester. Today I have this awesome, epic, mystery, realistic fiction book. Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. John Green is the author of The Fault of Our In Our Stars, which is a book that my mom has been pestering me to read the past couple weeks, but I haven't read yet. So, well, let's get right on to it. This book is about a girl named Aza, who is slightly mentally unstable. You see, she has these thought spirals, like she can't get out of, like these weird thoughts that she can't get out of. For example, like thinking about how many bacteria is inside her body and how those bacteria are kind of are her and how she hated her body and then on and on and on infinitely. Of course many people have these thought spirals, just not forever like Oz's. And Oza and her friend, her best and fearless friend as she calls her, Daisy, they hear about this mystery. A mystery of a person. Daddy's picket. He has disappeared and he has a lot of money and he is suspected to have committed some crimes. And he has he had disappeared a couple nights before and there is a ten thousand dollar reward from the police if for the good doer who catches this criminal. And Daisy's like, um, Aza, didn't you know Davis Davis Pickett's kid when you were younger? And she was like, yeah, kind of, but Daisy's like, yeah, we can find out more stuff about him. And so Asa Holmes, led by Daisy, had to go into the Pickett estate. There they meet Davis Pickett Jr., who is Oz's old elementary school friend. Together they meet and they talk a little bit, and obviously... She, our dear main, one of the main characters, Davis Pika Jr., can tell that Aza and Daisy are tr probably here to find out more about the reward and try to find clues, you know? Because, well, personally, if, if, if there was a newspaper, newspaper that said that a $10,000 reward if you find your father, and then the next day, Two friends that hasn't seen you in a couple, couple, couple years come and, and act all friendly. I would be suspicious too, to be honest with you. And obviously, Davis Pickett is stupid, so, well, she tell, she can tell. And this book is mostly about this girl named Aza Holmes, who, as I have explained, has a little bit of a mental disorder that makes her have these soft thought spirals. And Aza has a lot of like traumatic experience in here and she starts to find a kind of romantic love and true love and whatnot with Davis Pickett Jr. and and she she also seems is starting to find some clues of the father of Davis Pickett's whereabouts and this book is a little bit of a mystery but I'd say it's majorly romance and kind of getting through what you think that's wrong wrong about yourself. And I feel like it's a book about learning how to love yourself, learning how to have some romance, um, yeah. And also, a little bit of a thrilling, nice old-fashioned mystery of a missing billionaire. And I enjoyed this book immensely, mostly because of the mystery, and the romance was a little bit of a nice touch too. And I was reminded of, you know, Tony Stark from Avengers with his infinite amount of money. That's what I was reminded of. Because the first thing that Davis Pickett Jr. said was, I hope they're not after a reward. Then she said, I mean, $10,000 is not that much money. My dad can pay him, off, pay him or her off with double that price. Which sounded really like a absolute jerk. But, you know, if your dad has that much money... I guess it's kind of like that. Um, I don't know. But it's a great book, a pretty good mystery, an end that you could have expected, but you couldn't have expected too. And great mystery about knowing yourself and loving yourself 
And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. It is a pretty good book with those helpful guidelines to see that you could love yourself because it's not about loving everyone else around you. First of all, the first things first, yes, you have to love yourself. That's how we live our lives.